Good day, good day. Welcome back to the channel, Goddess Nyacle. So today I want to jump right in and I want to talk about really reserving your energy. A lot of people aren't going to relate to this because a lot of people watching this are the ones that are contributing to draining people. You might not know it subconsciously, but that's just the energy you bring. You like to drain, you like to take physically. So this message is for the chosen, for the ones that have pure hearts. Your loyalty is going to be your downfall. Your loyalty is going to cause you a lot of hurt and pain. I made a decision today. If you are not already in my heart, then you're not going to come in. I've decided to close down that area, shutting off the heart chakra. I'm shutting off letting people into my space, into my home. And I'm also shutting off my bank account. These three things are hurting me. These three things are draining me. And my loyalty is going to be my downfall. My loyalty to people is going to be my downfall. I'm gonna give you a perfect example. Okay, let's just say I'm back home, right? We back home in the States. Hey, everybody, welcome back. I'm home. Won't you guys come pull up? You know what I mean? Celebrate the fact that we're back in the States, blah, blah, blah. I'm pretty sure my area is going to be full. People are going to pull up. They're going to bring something to eat, something to drink. Some is coming to be nosy, and some are coming to have a good time. A couple months go by, and I'm like, yo, I'm having an opening for the business and I just want people to come through. Um, you ain't gotta buy them, just come through, show love. Oh, I would, but I gotta work tonight. I would, but I ain't got nobody to watch the kids. I'm giving you an example of how people will turn up. They'll show up to turn up, right? But when shit gets real, who's really there in your corner? When shit gets real, who's really there in your corner? That's what I look at. That's the type of love and loyalty I look for. If I call you at 2 o'clock in the morning and I'm crying on the phone, if I'm feeling depressed, if I'm going through something, are you going to be there or are you going to push me to the side? You know, I, I look at loyalty. And I'm very big on loyalty because when I tell you I fuck with you, when I tell you oh yeah, we should do this together. When I tell you, no problem, I got you. Like, I really mean that from my heart and soul. And a lot of people are not giving me that same energy back. So I don't give a shit who you are. If you're not going to give me that equal exchange of energy, if you're not going to give me what I'm giving you, then we're going to have a problem. And I'm still going to deal with you. I'm still going to speak my peace. I'm still going to show love. But at the same time, I'm tired of feeling drained and I'm and I'm feeling drained mentally. I'm feeling drained physically and spiritually and I feel drained financially because I'm always trying to help people. I'm always trying to be there. Like when I hold a space for you in my heart, like you're really sitting there. You can I'm the type of person like if I fuck with you, you fuck with me and you call me at any time, I'm going to stop everything. And I'm not going to give examples because I'm not here to put shine on nobody, but I can tell you situations where I've dropped what I'm doing to go check on other people. I've set aside my plans to go help somebody. And I don't feel like I always get that in return. So with me, like I said, if you're not if you don't already have a space in my heart, then you have to wait till that open back up. And that's just what it is. For other people out here that can relate to this, you have to really reserve yourself. And you have to understand that it's okay if your circle is small. We look at, I remember I seen somebody, uh, they had put this quote up and it was just basically them being, um, just giving an example of how good versus evil. And you see Hitler had millions and millions of followers. To this day, you see that tat that represents Hitler I forgot what you call it, but you'll see people still representing that, knowing how filthy he was, knowing what he did to women and children and people in general. And then you look at Jesus, he had 12 disciples. Now, I'm not saying people didn't follow Jesus, but what they put in that Bible is that he had 12 so-called loyal disciples that followed him. And even then, he said to a few of the disciples, you will betray me. And he still let them rock with him. So that lets me know that sometimes your circle has to be very small and you have to definitely... Um, 
be around people that are going to give you that equal exchange. I can't fuck with nobody where, you know, one minute they're giving you love and attention and friendship. And then the next minute it's like, who are you? What the fuck do you want type shit? I don't rock that way at all. And I won't say anything. I'll just let you keep hanging yourself. I'll let you keep hanging yourself and hanging yourself. Because if I got to bring something to your attention, then, you know, of course you can analyze it. But, and I'm going to give you an example. Coming here to Mexico is a beautiful thing. I'm still adjusting to it. I might do another video on that. I'm still adjusting to just being here. But, the way black people are back home, you see it here. And what I mean by that is us not coming together. I mean, we will come up to turn up. We'll come together to eat. Like, we'll come together for a barbecue. We'll come together to have some fun. But will we come together to really support each other? I'm going to give you another example, right? Because I don't want to go too deep. But at the same time, this is my channel, so I think I can go as deep as I want. When Wakanda came out, and I'm going to say this and I'm going to leave it. You guys can drop in the comments. And like I said, only certain people are going to be able to relate to this video because this is people that have like pure hearts i don't mean like oh i only fuck with you no i mean like pure pure hearts that's really loyal to the soil like really really loyal i really look at loyalty i don't care who you are what type of job i mean none of that stuff it's like oh wow that's impressive but that doesn't impress me what impressed me is your loyalty to our friendship or relationship or business whatever we might have your loyalty to that is what it impressed me so for an example, then I'm going to, I'm about to say I'm going to close out, like this is a damn church sermon. Wakanda came out and I was on Facebook and I seen so many black people come out to Wakanda, to the movie theater. And they all dressed in white and they was Wakanda forever. And it was so many black people. Now, the disappointing thing about that is that I see the same group not coming out to support businesses and black functions. I see the same group of people basically uh, not being friendly to other people that are trying to ask questions and learn. But yet Wakanda comes out and it's like, oh, we need to all wear white, we need to all come together and we need to go hard for this, right? I, I, I don't rock like that, I don't, I, don't, I don't do mine like that. Y'all come together for a fucking movie, but you won't come together to support a black business. Because when black businesses is being posted, I don't see the same outcome. Let's not get that twisted. Second of all, that movie Wakanda, it was a lot of shit in there that was disrespectful to black people and to uh, Mexican culture. There were some Mexican people that came out speaking about that movie actually, about certain things that was very disrespectful with how they was twisting around some of the culture and this and that. So sometimes we don't even know what we're watching. And I'm not going to go too far in that because I didn't watch the movie. I didn't do a whole bunch of research, but just on the, the tip of it was, was not a good thing. And like I said, it wasn't just black people coming out. It was people of Mexican culture saying, hold on, this, this movie is disrespecting us. But you'll see black people come out and it's like, we're so dumbed down. We're so watered down. And when you come here, you see other black people here in Mexico and not everybody is on the same type of time, but you see a lot of ignorance. So what I want to tell people is regardless if you're on Mexico time, regardless if you're in United States time, please be mindful when you have a good heart because you cannot give your love and loyalty to everybody. And on top of it, when you have a good heart, you end up going to your bank account too. You understand? Because when you're a good person, you're good all the way around. Bank account, house, food, all that. I am reserving all of that stuff so I can continue to build. Because this life here on this planet is very depressing. And you know why? Because the people make it that way. The people carry energy that's really not that good. And I can feel all that shit. I can feel when somebody's talking about me. And I just don't like it. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you want to rock with me, if you want to continue on this journey with me so we can build more. Like I said, I don't expect to have a big following. I don't expect a lot of people to even understand what I'm saying. But the few that do, this is for you. So make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. Till next time.